shiny happy people welcome to campus crafts my name is kim and if you're new here hello welcome if you're returning welcome back guys love you i just wanted to share with you guys today something that i just made up uh not too long ago it's just a little diamond painting journal to keep track of my projects and like any stats because it was getting a little difficult to uh, like I had things written down in different places and stuff like that. So I know I showed a journal earlier my friend developed and she and and my feedback and um, a lot of your feedback was that the lines were just too small to write in. So I decided um, she's um, editing that and she's developing a new one. Um, but in the meantime, I was like, getting lost with my projects. And so I just wanted to have them all in one spot. So I just made this little project book that I'm gonna share with you guys. So I did get a happy planner um, thing and I'll link all the items below that I got and that I'm using. Um, I'm using a card stock, a thicker card stock for this. And then, um, these little rings honestly i wish i had gotten bigger ones i could still get bigger ones and there was only four or three there wasn't like enough colors to like do a whole i would rather they all be one color so i probably will put money out to just get a set of rings um i did it I did it in a very strange way. I, I just have like a regular size piece of paper. So you, why do you always want to itch your face when I'm recording? I start talking to myself and you want to like act like a crazy pug. I'm crazy, you're crazy. So it's basically half of a sheet. That's the size. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight holes in this. And the cover is kind of cheesy. <laughs> and the reason why I put full canvas projects is because I did make this one, which is off the canvas projects. And you can see this is a lot less, a lot less done in here. And we'll go over this one too, if you want. Um, I could try to put a Google Doc for these sheets. It there, it's extremely basic. Okay, um, it doesn't have a lot of stats and data in here. Um, I just wanted to keep track of things, um, and I'm I'm really bad at that. You can see my planner over there. I'm trying to like be more organized and um, I was afraid that if I put too many things in this book that it would overwhelm me and I, I wouldn't stay on top of it. So this is this is like the, um, you know, not the soups to nuts. This is the meat and potatoes. <laughs> is that, I don't even know. Did that make sense? So um, yeah, I just put like, what I thought was the most important things in here. And then, um, and that's, that's all I wanted to keep track of this year. So I will show you what I did. So each project gets two full pages. And so what I did was, is I put a, a blank page and then I put this page, which is what I printed up. Um, and so each project gets two pages. Because honestly, I didn't like the idea of like writing about the project on here and then putting a picture on the back. I wanted to see what I was talking about. And so, yeah, you can see there's a whole lot of things going on. So what I do is, is I, if they, if they give you a photo of the, the artwork in your project, like Calming Canvas Designs did, I'll put that on here on the front and then I print up and then I print up in big letters, the name of the canvas. And then whatever washi I used, 
I'll lay it on the front here just to like decorate it. And then I put it all over on the second pages as well. Now this is a printed picture of my photo, my last photo that I upload on Instagram. That's what this picture is. So this is the completed artwork. I think that the ink on my printer was off when I did this. It's printing a lot better now. See how much it looks like the website here. I think that the greens and the yellows were off and you'll see when I go to the Tom and Jerry. Now I also print up a picture of the legend. Now, if I forget, like I forgot to Xerox this and I used it. So I had to take photos of the side of the legend and print it up. So that's what I also had to do here um, because I wasn't doing that. And so this is what I just wanted to keep track of, the name of the canvas, the company, the artist, the size, how many colors, I should have put number of colors. I might change some of this, um, number of special drills, uh, and then I should put number of AB drills, diamond shape. There's things I'm gonna change in this. Start, and then I'm gonna put finish, enhancements, so if I changed anything, and then my 2023 finish and my lifetime finish. And so this is, look, you can see my little note. This was my first Dreamers Design Canvas and I loved it. It is one of my favorite finishes. It is so colorful and poppy. I love the fall feel. I actually started and finished the first two rows in 2022. So I just kept track of that. Um, sometimes in notes, you'll see I'll put an event if I used it for an event, but that's all that I'm like keeping track of. Uh, and then here's my Tom and Jerry. So um, unlike every other canvas that DAC um, sells, this one did not come with stickers for some reason. I don't know. And so they just like, you just have to download a PDF and print it. So you can see how off this is. It's supposed to be yellow and it's not, but this is the washi I used. I use this cat washi. Um, and then here's the, the legend. Here's my finished. And then all the same things. Now this, the, the, the printer, my printer did some kind of like realignment thing and since then I think it's been printing better. So here's my elephant colors and this is the washi I used again and here's the finished one and this was from Diamond Dot Artistry and then I started to put and I probably should go back and oh I did that here 55,919 I probably should go put it in here. Did I put it in this one? Oh, I did. 76,800. So I can keep track of the amount of drills that I placed. Um, then my little angels. And you know, I do it different. You know, I put this on a slant. I put this like this. And then again, the legend, my, my, my actual finish. You can see it's a little pixelated, but it's still very, very cute. And then the all that jazz. Not crazy about the washi on this one, but I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. And my shine. And I had three different washies. And then here you can see enhancements. Yes, I added 209, 550, 164, 748 ABs and 3607 crystals. It's my sixth finish, 25th of lifetime. You know, um, I did this for DP for Black History Month. Uh, the host was Blunts and Gem, Sam. So, and then the Starry Coffee. 
and you see the this is their stars if you can't tell <laughs> and um yeah so here's the colors and then so this is this is how i've been keeping track forever in my heart jesus blessing rainbow poop emoji captured by radiance my american star welcome so i have to um so i have to washi this up and i have to print up that so i i did not go over that and then i also have to washi this up and then the legend for this one <laughs> 250 colors i think i'll just add like i'll just add a couple sheets is what i'm gonna have to do um my spongebob i didn't even put put the name on this yet and then i have a divider so this is also what i wanted to show you i have a divider i just um offset the holes on it so i can go right to it and these are my works in progress so i was going to put and you you could certainly do this you can have it stick out a little more and i was going to put like whips and then you can just go to that and then these are the things that i've kitted up and have not completed or i'm currently um, working on so my mystery and then the nice thing about the, this is when I'm done the mystery, I'll have a picture of the actual painting on this side. So, um, you know, this is the this is the picture on their website for their mystery canvas. And then here I'll have the finished completed canvas. Um, the meeting on the turret stairs, one of my current whips that I, I am actively working on. And then we're gonna put the next two in. So I have, I think I only have enough. Oh, I started writing it in here. So I wrote in, so far I wrote in that I started it on 812 and that I'm doing this for hashtag Beach Life 2023. And it's um, being hosted by Diamond Grandma and um, Diamond Painting with Sweet Tea, my buddy. Um, and then I have a blank one here and then I, I just need to make a, another sheet. Um, but this is going to be for the wolf. So let's go back. Let's do the wolf because the wolf I, I'm going to do, have to do completely with you. All right. So. We'll cut out the wolf sticker. So the wolf sticker is going to go on the cover page. And let's see here. I need scissors. Oh, there they are. All right, let's. And I thought about it because I thought about putting ABs in the moon. I might do crystals in the moon. I don't know. I don't know if I should just leave it alone now. Let me just... I don't want to have to bend the picture, so I'm going to bend this. on 
the front here. I'm trying to make it straight. Sometimes I can see the lines underneath and I'll try to use the lines to keep me straight. Okay, so there's him. And then um, I didn't print up And I didn't print up a uh, thing. Let me get my stuff here. So for him, I don't want to really, I don't really need to keep the amount of drills. This is a little, there. I, I printed it up a little large. I, I don't know, let me see. Um, this is one through 17, 16, and then it would be 17 to 28. And then, okay, so I'm gonna do up to 16. And because it's a picture on my phone, it's like kind of all wonky. I don't know, let's see. Can I straighten this a little? I just want the DMCs and the I could even cut out the one to one to sixteen. Let me just make sure I. So then I want to do seventeen. Up to seventeen, and then I'm gonna do up to twenty-eight. Like that. So that one's smaller. And then this one's going to be 29. I also had to hold this up because the, the shine and the glimmer on the canvas was making some of it come out dark. So when I held it up out of the direct spotlight, I got a good photo, which is why it's kind of weirdly shaped. I could leave the numbers in there. That's fine. So that works. So I'll just put it like For me, it's just important that they're all readable. Okay, this is my double-sided tape. I've got all different sizes in here. I'll, I'll use this like thicker one. to the edge here. I did, that's how I do it. Just get all the edges. And I just need to leave enough room to put a picture down here.
That's good. Make sure the sticky part sticks. There you go. And then one more. And I ordered washi tape. go and so that's all set and then I won't have a picture to put here until I finish the project and um, okay let me get my canvas wrong down okay so it's called sleeping wolf and it's by calming canvas designs And the artist is Daphne Populars, U-L-I-E-R-S, and the size is, now I remember it's on the side here, and I'm pretty sure it's 45 by 60, 45 by 60, 40 five by 60 centimeters number of drills we have 44 special drills um no special drills two ab's and it's rounds and i haven't started it yet enhancements possibly gonna do rhinestones in here um and then i can't do any of that so that's all and i don't have any notes yet so that's all i'm going to do on that one so now this is in my whip profile and then my dreamers designs so i already filled that out and i have let me put this back So I'm going to show you. So I had to print because Dreamers Designs, their old style of canvas or packaging, their old old style canvases do not come with a picture of the project. So I printed this off of their website. And I left the name on it. I thought that was cute. And just gonna put that here. With my tape. Let's grab 
edge. Whoops. This one's a little long, so I'm going to pull this the backing off of this one and put it on top. And pull the backing off of this one. Okay. Now again, I will probably try to use the lines down here. I think most of them are pretty straight. And then I will get my laptop out later and I'll put the names of them. So this will be Breeze Off the Ocean and I'm just using this blue washi here. So I'll put that all over. Oh yeah, this is garbage now. I forgot about. So I have This one again. So let's see here. So here's number one. One. And I can go down to, I'll go down to 26 because that one starts at 27. Seven looks better on this one, so I'll, I'll go down to 27. And I'll just shape this up a little bit. Okay, and then 28. smaller sheet of paper to follow the lines. Okay, so I'm going to go up to 49 here. There we go. And then here start at 15. these are different colors <laughs> but you can see the symbols that's what I care about all right There's a, there's all my, where did I do all the tape? Oh. I'll use the, uh, 
the skinny one to go on the side. This isn't too long. All right. I hope it doesn't lift too much down there. That's good. And then this little guy. I mean, this is these these strips um they're not the like they're not hard to use, but you know, they're a little more time consuming. Um, they're just more, uh, they're just cheaper than using like the roll on double sided tape. And um, there. So I'll put washi in between and like, you know, gussy it up. So that is that one and that one. Yeah, so that's what I've been doing, guys, for my journal. And then I have to print up a couple more pages and pop them in here. Because we are not done yet for this year. Um, and then just real quick, this is my off the canvas. And it's, it's even more simplified. Project, green tree, foldable box, company, Amazon, and when I completed it, and then a picture of the completed project. That's it. Rainbow tree box. And the first few that I printed up had these, this outline, and then I figured out how to get rid of it. So my abstract, coaster, set, landscape, Amazon in January, my Valentine's Day, coaster set from Amazon in feb February. My heart jewelry box from Everyday E Deals in March. My St. Patrick's Day from March. And then I have to put my keychains in here, so I just haven't done that. And that's it, really. That's all I've done off the canvas. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed my video that's all i have for you if you guys liked my video if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up on the way out and if you want to see more from me go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family and friends here at canvas crafts i would love to have you you guys have a wonderful wonderful day take care keep diamond painting